My name is Kilion Amolo and uh, I'll be taking you in uh, economics. And uh, today's lesson I'll be talking about the theory of costs. I'll be talking about the theory of costs. So we will basically begin by finding out what costs are. Thereafter, I will take you to an analysis of the short-run costs and the long-run costs. Basically, this is what we are going to be discussing today. Now, by definition, cost refers to, uh, cost refers to the value of economic resources or factor inputs used in producing goods and services. That is the meaning of costs. And uh, our analysis of costs can be divided both in the short run and in the long run. The short run is that period of time over which at least one factor input is fixed. That is the short run. That period of time over which at least one factor input is fixed. Now, in the same way, total costs can be divided into total fixed costs and total variable costs. That is in the short run. Total fixed costs and total variable costs will give us our total costs of production. Fixed costs are those costs which remain the same over a relevant range. That is, they don't change with the level of a business activity in such a way that if this is our fixed cost, when output is zero, then it will remain at that level even as production increases. So that is how we can graphically depict our total fixed costs. They are constant at all levels of business activity over a relevant range. Now, variable costs, on the other hand, uh, before we go to variable costs, examples of fixed costs would be the cost of rent. Rent basically would remain constant even as production increases. Uh, variable costs, on the other hand, are those costs which change with the level of business activity. That means that as production increases, these costs also increase. And a good example is the cost of uh, direct materials, the cost of labor, uh, and other overheads like power. They always increase as production increases. So that makes them to be variable. That means that when production level is at zero, there are no variable costs incurred. And for that reason, our total variable cost curve on the assumption of linearity is a straight line that begins from the origin. That is how our total variable cost curve looks like. Remember that our total costs are given by total fixed costs plus total variable costs. Now for that reason, our total cost curve, our total cost curve will begin from the level of fixed costs and then move up like that. It never begins from the origin. Remember, this is our total fixed cost. So the total cost curve will begin from that level. And our total variable cost is still beginning from the origin. So that is how we can graphically depict our total cost curve. A, a line that begins from the level of fixed costs. So in still continuing to analyze our short-run costs, we also have average costs of production. Average costs basically represent the total cost of production per unit. The total cost of production per unit. So basically, that is how we derive our average cost. The 